Hey, it's Chris Duncan here, and I'm so grateful that you're checking out this channel. On this video, I want to talk to you about magical manifesting. And here's the message. You need to stop trying to work it out. Many of us, when we, we learn to become creators, we still get stuck in old patterns of trying to figure everything out. If you want magic, if you want to truly be able to create big results, working it out is only going to stop you or slow you down. My transition from someone who was struggling to building a $20 million business to somebody that was always searching and chasing to having the life he loves, it is all down to this one thing. I stopped trying to work it out. When you tune into what it is that you want to create, uh, and then you notice that you don't have it, you create something called structural tension. And this is a tension between what you want and where you are now. And that tension seeks resolution. One of the patterns that we can fall into is this idea of needing to work it out. So, so we always want to work it out. How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? What do I need to plan for? What do I need to do? And, and it's like this: the, the ego or the self-conscious has this misguided idea that it can somehow figure out how to create this, this thing. In fact, our ego or self-conscious thinks we can work everything out. It doesn't leave any space for magic yet we live in a completely magical uh, you know, existence where we're literally talking consciousness, a, a talking skin suit, walking around having this random spiritual experience called being a human being, which is, by the way, ridiculous. And it's, uh, it's incredible that our brain and our ego still thinks it can work everything out. Yet when you truly want to create, you do not need to work it out. It is actually the smallest part of you, the most arrogant part of you thinking it can work it out. So when you're creating, first thing is you must know how to tune into what you love. And living intuitively is living from a place of what would I love? In fact, uh, the reason we're here is to be creators of what we would love, what we would like, what we would prefer. So, so we tune into that. You must learn how to tune into the end result because because only the end result has everything that you need. Many of us get distracted by, uh, you know, tuning into a process. We think, well, if I have this, then I'll be able to get it. And, and that's trying to work it out. So so first you tune into it. So, so whatever it is, uh, you know, say that you want to have a, a health transformation. You, you know, you, the end result, the end result is you seeing yourself in a in the body that you want uh, and totally enjoying it. So, one of the things I get people to say is, "I'm totally enjoying and loving uh, having a body that is 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 you know whatever the weight is or whatever." And them to get three or four pictures of that and and in their mind and really tune into what life will be like. So, so that's important. It's important that you know when you have the manifestation. Second, you must know where you are. Uh, maybe will really struggle with, well, where am I compared to that? And they don't like to look at it. Or when they do look at it, they think they've got to beat themselves up. Where you are now is just your current manifestation on your path to creating that. You should relate the now to like the seed relates to the forest. It's just a smaller version of it. Yet many of us, uh, self-conscious, can't handle the fact that, you know, we think we should be further ahead or whatever. We don't understand uh, how manifestation is going to happen. Now, if you manage to do those two things, the next thing that happens, people go, well, okay, I want to get there. I'm get here. And I don't know how. They always say, I don't know how, I don't know what I should do. It seems too big. It seems complex. It seems this, it seems that, you know, I'm going to use business as an example. I had no idea how to build a $20 million business and we're going to, you know, soon to be a hundred million dollar business. I, I didn't know how to do that. Uh, when, when I just started out, in fact, I didn't even know how to make a hundred grand and, uh, it, you know, slowly I assimilated to, to it, but the me at the beginning if the me, you know, I started my business career 17 years ago. If 17 years ago, I tried to work out all the steps in advance of how I was going to get there, it, it would never happen. It would, it, it, it's, it's just ridiculous to even think like that. But many of us still try to do it. So it's like you're driving down a, you know, a dark uh, highway. You, you know where you're going, but you can only see where the lights are in front of you. And that's true. You can only see the next obvious action. And so when you're creating, it seems like magic because you, you, you get pulled there. But but trying to plan and work it all out is actually just, just the part of you that is so scared about learning or making the wrong move. And, and all of these things are, are so important. The feedback system that creates exponential results needs a, a, a learning system in play. And so the way that works is, is this what you want to create? Here's where you are now. And then this is the obvious action that's obvious to you at that point. Now, that obvious action... Now, it can, it can lead to, you know, a few things. One, it can lead to a success. So uh, I'm here. Uh, so I'm here. I want to get there. This is the next thing I'll do. So I'm going to do this. And yes, that moved me forward. Or no, that didn't work, which actually still moves you forward because you realize one thing that doesn't work. So you learn, you take, now you take a different obvious action, which moves you forward. And this is the most predictable way to create. Yet so many people want to have it all worked out. And that stops them. It stops them massively. In fact, most of the time, 
that we we are trying to work it out. We're actually coming from a place of how do I not fail? And that's very different than how do I just take the action that seems the most obvious? Or we come from a place of, you know, how do I make sure I get it right? Or how do I try to race? Or how do I try to force it? Some of my biggest breakthroughs in um, my career and, and in my life have been when I didn't know, you know, I just took an action that didn't make sense. It didn't logically make sense, but that action led to something marvelous. And, you know, you, you can't work out how you end up meeting the love of your life. You, you can't work it out. You can't plan that. You can't work out how, you know, your business goes from, you know, for me, from 100 grand a month to 500 grand a month to a million a month, now 2 million a month. Like, I can't work that out. The, and all this, like, the, the just the random meetings of my mentors and my teachers and my coaches, that the, they're so beautiful in the fact that I was just focused on where I was going. And, and I kept that focus alive until I was pulled to, to the right places and things I needed to. You can not work it out. So stop, stop it. You need three things. What's the end result that I'm creating? How will it look when it's completed? And to ensure that I'll know when I arrive there. Two, where am I now compared to that? Three, what is the exact next thing I can do? And if I do that, then my reality moves to that. The very next day now I've done that, it either worked or didn't work. So now I'm here. That's where I'm going. So this is my new reality. It either worked or didn't work. What can I do to get, then you go here, then I go here, then I go here. And it seems looking back on it that, uh, you, you know, <laughs> that it, it was like it manifested, it pulled, you, you were pulled towards it, but it was, it was step after step after step after step after step that got you there. And, and that's key. That's the key. So I hope that you, you truly got this because magic can happen and it, it's unbelievable but it happens because of these three things. Where am I going? Where am I now? What's the obvious action? Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, my plan is just to give you as much amazing free content on this channel as possible. So do me a favor to get this work out there. Hit share, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment because that those are good things. YouTube love that when you do it and um, it tells them you know, to send it to more people like you. So if you could do that for me, that'd be great. Love to see you at a course at some point. Have a great day. Subscribe to this channel and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.